What's going on, everybody? Brian Maglio on here for the 2022 Lone Star Conference Basketball Media Days. I'm joined by St. Mary's men's basketball head coach Jim Zelznak and Ryan Leonard. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us here today. First and foremost, coach, uh, a new season is upon us. Uh, what are your thoughts on the upcoming year and your team as we head into the new season? Well, we've, uh, you know, we have had a nice group of, <clears throat> of, of players coming back. So, you know, that part of it was, you know, we had a pretty, pretty solid building block to begin with, with, uh, you know, with Ryan, who was, was an all league player last year. And then, uh, you know, Emmanuel Awuzie, uh, you know, Caleb Jordan has come back for his fifth year, um, uh, Tyler Karen. So we, you know, we felt really good, Jaron Presley. Uh, so we really felt good about the, you know, the foundation that we had, uh, you know, coming back and all those kids played a ton of basketball for us. And uh, so, you know, our recruiting class, you know, we filled some needs. We had to rebuild our perimeter a little bit. But, uh, you know, I think that uh, the, the young men that we have brought in uh, have, have blended in really well. Uh, there's a, you know, there, there's an accountability in the locker room, which I love. Uh, they've, they've worked really hard, you know, up to this point, uh, we had a couple of observers come in for our first formal practice on Saturday. And, you know, we're, we're talking about how hard our, our players, you know, practiced. And I just told them, I said, that's, that's kind of been from day one. I mean, that's, that's didn't look like a change to me. That's, that's kind of what, you know, I've witnessed since we, you know, started doing our, you know, our, our smaller workouts, uh, you know, at the beginning of school. So, you know, I think it's a, it's a, it's a credit to all of our older players that they have, uh, embraced the new recruits and uh, you know kind of shown them what uh, you know what the standard of work ethic needs to be and uh, I think the on the other side I think all the new recruits have come in and and, and blended in really well so it uh, you know it, it's been fun to see that see that growth with them but I think you know more important to see the consistent work ethic across the board. And Ryan, to harp on what Coach said about having the returners as well as the new recruits come in, how have you felt uh, the the meshing of the two have uh, worked out? Yeah, I think our coaching staff did a really good job of you know bringing in guys that um, really fit in well with us. Um, all the guys now have have fit in well, like we you know hanging out all the time and just um, really trying to you know build a build a good bond between each, each other. Um, and yeah, like Coach said, like it it was really like the returners and stuff we we set a standard and the new guys have lived up to that standard so you know they've kind of earned our respect and in every sense like that and coach this sure is is not your first dance uh, if you will what gets you excited about a new season as uh, we get into october and november well quite honestly just kind of observing you know how these guys have uh, have handled themselves. You know even through you know the conditioning and the weight work and our and our early season workouts. But uh, to see how they're how they blended in together. You know how the how the new how the new players have embraced the you know the you know the the work ethic and and just seeing how this entire group has uh, has really blended and uh, to see the unselfishness on the court and uh, you know as I alluded to before to see the accountability in the locker room about you know what's going to be acceptable from a work standpoint I mean there's you know there's been multiple times that I've observed some of the older players just stopping and just you know talking to the players about what you know what needs to be done and how competitive the league is which the new guys don't get just yet but you know how you know these you know soft possessions or, or lazy possessions just you know when it gets comes down these games are all going to come down to one or two possessions at the end how important it all is so you know i think just to see that you know that growth not only in our returning players you know knowing the importance of what every game looks like even from the from the very beginning from the first crossover game to you know the very end and uh, you know to see you know how they're how they're handling and blending and making sure all the new players are blending in is is uh, is really neat to see and then hopefully over over the course of the year that just keeps on getting better and better and you see that development you know as a team and of course you got to get into some playing situations to be able to you know see how exactly all this is going to play out but uh you know just to to see how all these guys have blended together and stuff is really really neat to see and ryan for you what excites you most about this upcoming year um i mean i guess like what coach is saying is like we're a really unselfish team i think it's going to be really fun to to play with each other um and then just just have a chance to go out there and and win the Lone Star Conference. I mean, you know, it's a tough conference, like Coach was saying. Um, I know every every day is going to be, every game is going to be a battle. Um, but like I said, like, we are really unselfish, and it's going to be really fun to play with each other out there. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for spending some time with us. We look forward to seeing you guys out on the court this upcoming year. 
Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.